say right. that there were apps out there that told you yeah, when to apps break during the three-hour movie? Yeah, websites that'll let you know, watch your <laughs> clock, and now's a good time to use the restroom. You're not going to miss a good scene. Yeah. So oh, it's that okay. big a deal, Alex, right? Well, now we know mm. there's everything out there. But, hey, three hours is a little too long for me. I think, I think so, me too. Yeah, you need an intermission. Yeah, a little too long, but not for some people. All right, let's take a look at the weather. Yeah, if you're inside, well, you probably don't know this gorgeous scene that is outside. We're looking a live look over Long Beach at this time. A lot of that marine layer we saw earlier this morning now out of the region, but we are dealing with a few thunderstorms out towards our local mountains over the Ventura County Mountains as well as the Santa Barbara County Mountains so that's popped up over the past few hours. You'll see right near Fraser Park. This is a loop over the past three hours. Hours. You'll even see a little bit of a yellow popping up there. That's an indication of lightning. So a little bit of a different scene though along the coast at this time. Temperatures in the lower 70s towards downtown Orange County, upper 80s for the Inland Empire at this time. And we're seeing some weak onshore flow, a little bit breezy out towards the high desert Lancaster Apple Valley, looking at winds around 10 to 15 miles an hour. So putting future cast into motion for you. Well, we'll see that marine layer build back up as we go into early Friday morning. Could be dense at times, so just something you need to make a note of if you are traveling, especially along the coast. The same scene as we head into Saturday morning, although onshore flow is going to strengthen, meaning we'll see fog creeping more into the San Gabriel Valley as well as the San Fernando Valley heading into Saturday. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see a slow clearing day heading into Saturday. So uh, daytime highs tomorrow will be very similar to what we felt today, maybe a degree or two cooler. So we're going to continue a very slight cooling trend into the weekend. You'll notice along the coast temperatures in the lower to mid 60s, upper 70s for areas like Whittier, Palmdale in the uh, lower 80s, Norco as well in the lower 80s heading into tomorrow. We could see some triple digits out towards the Coachella Valley, San Bernardino in the mid 80s heading into tomorrow. Now, maybe you're heading out to the California Poppy Festival out in Lancaster this weekend. Going to be beautiful weather for that. As we head uh, into Saturday, we'll top out in the upper 80s and then by Sunday we'll see lower 80s. So the extended forecast, here's kind of what it looks like. We're going to be cooling off slightly heading into this weekend, but the big cool down comes on Monday as we are tracking an area of low pressure that has the potential to bring us some rain, isolated thunderstorms and very gusty conditions for the high desert as well as our local mountains. So something we're going to watch heading into the beginning uh, of next week. That's what I look at the forecast. Back to you.